I'm trying to take steps, all of the right steps to get the most high steps. He showed me the way, first I was blind, now I see everything high def. Ain't too much time left, they only told us that we stolen. Listen up close, my bro, my sis, I'm here to tell you that we chosen. The truth unfolding. Just pay attention to these verses But my people so stiff-necked That's why we came with some curses You're more than worthless It's a lot of people fake woke They quote a lot of shit that ain't even facts I won't clear the gun smoke I know times can't get tough But enough is enough No more lies and they bluffs We all diamonds in the rough I see my people in the streets All I see is lost sheep They all in deep sleep But they don't wanna wake up I know times can't get tough but enough is enough, no more lies and they bluffs, we all diamonds in the rough. I see my people in the streets, all I see is lost sheep, they all in deep sleep, but they don't want to wake up. All praises to the most high. Yeah, so we are God's chosen people. Hey, do anybody do anything like we do? What about you? Do anybody do anything like we do? Sports, cooking, dancing, dressing. So we're the greatest people on the face of the earth. So why don't we act like it? Man, it's a lot of, it's a lot of misguidance. That's it. A lot of misguidance. A lot of people don't want to see people win. That's it. What would you say? We all gotta have fun. Would you say that the, uh, right. Now would you say the religions that we follow in are the blind, like Muslim? No, I wouldn't disrespect, you know, what I know of, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I would say it's taught to my father. That's why I'm a Muslim. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I think sometimes your parents can be misled and then you do what your parents do. So learning what you learned here today, what would you say about that? Were you misled in Muslim and, 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 and the teachings of that? I wouldn't say I was misled. I just think that everybody has a teaching that they, you know, learn and, and they want their kids to do it because they believe it. Just like an ignorant person is ignorant, and they and their kids is ignorant because they ignorant. But now that you know today, you shouldn't be ignorant no more. And, That's and, true. And this is the truth. Right. Bring it up. This the book of, set of Colossians chapter 2 and verse number 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. And, and through vain deceit, which was what the, the Quran is, because it's just a reiteration of the Bible. All right. It says after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. So following that isn't following Christ. This is following the Most High by the Holy Scriptures that he had wrote. Give me uh, First Peter uh, 2 and 21. Or uh, 2 Peter uh, 1 and 21. the book of second Peter chapter 1 verse 21 for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so this, this prophecy came in old by, by the men of God who, who did the Quran come by it came by a man that actually went and sought things out and listened to other religions and compiled them into one because he couldn't be a part of ours. Hey, because this ain't something you can join. This is a bloodline. You right. can't wake up one day and be an Israelite. Hey, I can't wake up one day and be a Chinese man. Right. Hey, you're an Israelite whether you like it, believe it or not. Right. Hey, you got to come back to where we are. And if you don't, hey, you're going to be destroyed with this place. You ain't going to be no better than that heathen standing right there. Right. Hey, we don't want to be cleaving to these heathen in these last days. We don't want to be cleaving to these other religions in the last days. Hey, because it's not going to be nice when the Most High come back. Hey, you don't want to eat a missile. Hey, you want to be saved. You want to be on, on, on the side of the men of the Lord, fighting for the Lord. Hey, like our forefathers did. No. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Huh? This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. Hey, and we dead out here. We the walking dead. That's why we say our people err in, in, in not knowing the things. Hey, we was misled. Hey, and, and being misled and dece uh, deciding to stay misled after you hear the truth, hey, you choosing to die. So this day, from here on, and what you heard so far, you gotta you gotta study these things and, and see the truth of it. Hey, the truth isn't the Quran. You gotta understand that.
a, th there is no truth in there. It, it actually tells you that, uh, this is from Babylon to Timbuktu by Rudolf R. Windsor on Islam, page number 45. And it reads, when Muhammad was born, many Arabs were still worshiping the sun, stars, spirits, and idols. The Arabs possessed 360 idols, one for each day of the year. Are you an Arab, brother? So you're assuming a religion that it ain't got nothing to do with us. Can't call yourself Muslim no more, brother. It has nothing to do with our people. They had an idol for every day of the year. Absolutely has nothing to do with All right, brother. Hey, hey, on a real quick, brother, what you learned up here today? What's your nationality? My nationality? Yeah. Israelite. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, what I've learned today, so far I've been out here, just, you know, we all need to be unified. Right. They talk to about, you know, different, you know, ways we can all come together, you know. What, what do we got to be doing in the last days, according to the Most High? Reading. You know, yeah, reading. And, and, and doing what? What, what, what? what are these for? Those for pretty much said to to actually know pretty much that you said something about the blue and you didn't say nothing about the blue. okay no we did and so it's to remember something what are we supposed to remember you got the lab yeah it's the book of deuteronomy the book of chapter deuteronomy. 10 and verse number 12 and now israel what do if the lord require of thee but to fear the lord thy god so like to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord. So that's what it is, to keep the commandments. So when you read the book, hey, you start from Genesis and get all the way to Revelation. Hey, the first five books, that's where we get our laws from. You know, that, that's uh, the Torah. Hey, so we gotta get our laws from here where we build our foundation and move into the rest of the book. So, hey, when you go home, start at Genesis. Hey, get, get the milk. Build yourself up. Hey, get the commandments that we got to be doing. Ain't no pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. All phrases you already don't do that. Hey, we got to start wearing fringes. Ain't no more wearing mingled garments. Hey, ain't no more being around the heathens. Hey, but with that, hey, check out check out the, uh, uh, the precepts that's on the paper. And they got a bunch of uh, other stuff on the YouTube channel if you click on the links from there. Thank you so much, man. Good. All right. Good talking to you, brother. Oh, I'm sorry, brother. We gotta keep the commandments. Remember that. Hey, I'm so to say something. Good. The same organization. Uh. -huh. Is like Muslims too. It's all brothers around me too. Right. Ain't nobody other than brothers around. And it, it, it is, but they misled though. Like they still, they're Israelites. Right. Right. I respect. It. But they're following yeah, after a heathen custom. Right. So they're following after something that has nothing to do with them. Like, I wouldn't go worship Buddha. That wouldn't make no sense. You know what I mean? I'm not, why does every other God look like their people? Why does it have to be their people? Hey, Muslim, you just talk, give me a habit 2 and 18. Hey, it's just a rock, brother. I'm not going to bow down in the middle of nowhere. And they put their head in that little circle and just do diabolical things in there. You can't see. It's covered from the side. Who knows what they're doing on that rock? And everybody is fighting each other. They pulling brothers off trying to put their head in that little nasty hole. Hey, brother, that's all. It's the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 18. What profiteth the graven image that the maker thereof hath graven it? The molten image and a teacher of lies. That, well, I don't know, what is it? A teacher of what? A teacher, a teacher of, of lies. lies. That the maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols. Woe unto him that saith to the wood, awake to the dumb stone arise. And that's what they say. Uh, 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 awake to the to the wood and the stone arise. Hey Amen. The stone not going nowhere. Hey, hey, the dumb stone. Hey, the, the, the cross is not fun to get up off there and start preaching and prophesying, man. Arise, say arise, it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and 
Hold on, let's get to the What's going on with you, brother? You, you know who you are? You know your nationality? What would what, uh, you put on a job application? Other? That's the best option they got. <laughs> All crazy. Let me finish my page. Let's finish reading this out right quick. It says, Woe unto him that said to the wood, awake, to the dumb stone, arise. It shall teach. So, so that's Christianity and that's Muslim. Yeah, right. Arise, it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver. What's on the on the borders of that at that rock over there? Gold and silver. Hey man, it's telling you plain as day. Hey, that's not for us. They can have them idols. Remember what I was saying about uh, parents? Uh huh. That's just like uh, my cousins in California. I got two different sets of uh, cousins. One's Crips, 60s. One's Rolling 30s. Look, uh -huh. they parents, and their parents before that was Black Panthers, and then they turned into Bloods. And their parents before the Crips was Black Panthers, and they turned into Crips. Mm -hmm. But everybody after that is gang members. Okay. So that means. They are following their parents, which my father was a Muslim man. But, but the, uh, so I followed my father, and the father before him was a Muslim man. Are you going to follow somebody off a bridge, brother? You no, know it's death no, at the end but of that. It is, it is not like it is a bad thing to be Muslim. It is. Because I've never seen, uh, it's, I'm not saying anybody's opinion of who, who they should be and what they want to be. And a man's destiny should be bad. Well, I'm just thinking... As a, as a Muslim man, I've never seen a Muslim man step out of character in my life, uh -huh. just in my life, as in being a bad person. They just want better for the world and themselves and their people. What, was your father and mother together? Yes. Did your father beat your mother? Not that I've seen. You know in the Quran it says that's okay. Because a, uh, cause a wife is supposed to obey. So he can just beat her. If she not listen. But I've never seen I'm, But it's a possibility it could happen. Probably before me wrong. Uh huh? And it wouldn't be wrong. Yeah, and it wouldn't be wrong. Because as a man, you're supposed to guide your family Are you into supposed greatness. to speed her? No. Not, I mean, <laughs> so you don't agree with that? No, I don't agree with that. But I, I believe a woman, you're supposed to lead your family into greatness. We believe that too. And, and respect everybody's actions. And, and, and nowadays it's different. This is, you, you're talking about the Quran. But nowadays, if a woman say something, it might be for your great or good for to listen to some type of knowledge that she got. Well, that's and what you're following. Know that's what I'm talking she about. She might though. know something we, we that you don't know. talking about the religion that so, your, your father has showed you. I'm, I'm showing yes, you that he it's me not the religion, God, but not he showed me how to treat a woman with grace and respect. Does the Quran say that though? No, it does so, not. So that, my point have is, to follow everything in there. My, my point is, the Quran is trash, and that's that's what I'm saying. I'm right. saying like this. Teaches you to love your wife as you love you yourself. Do some things in that that you out. don't agree with. This is the I Bible. agree with everything this, in the Bible. This is what the Bible says. Front front this is the, this is front the front Bible front. says. It says, it's the book of Ephesians, chapter 25, chapter, chapter, chapter 5, and verse 25. It said, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. You gotta give your life for your wife. Amen. 319. <laughs> Beating your, beating your wife ain't giving it for her. And did you know in the Quran they say that they, they had black slaves? That's what I'm the, the Quran isn't for us. So we, we just misled and mistaught. So now with the teachings that we have, we gotta move away from that because that's, it, it's not for us is what I'm saying. So it's something that our people ran to in a time of not knowing. We were we, we out here reaching for something. But we, we didn't know what we was looking for because we didn't have a knowledge of God. We had a zeal for him, but not according to knowledge. What's it? Yeah, it's anything. Anything. Yeah, so. Uh, I, I, can I say something right go, there? These go conversations ahead. that you're having about like slaves and stuff, that's like surface conversations. So it's not really that deep, but it's like on the surface. Because black slaves have black slaves too. So. No. If, you, if, you, it was black. It's all skin folk, kin folk. No. Uh, so, what's the point of saying that? But so uh, Africans uh, had uh, Israelites uh, enslaved. Right. We're not the same people. Give me the definition of Ham in the Zion of Dictionary. <laughs> we're not the same people. Right you know now, what I mean? Now. So we, we. I'm just giving them great. 
you know, resources to look up, but you know. I mean, we we, we, we tried these things to be true, brother. We, yeah. You know, hey, we gotta, you just look it up on your phone. Look at the uh, definition of ham in the zone of Bible dictionary. I'm down to listen. Yeah, because we gotta understand that these people are not our people. They come from ham, we come from Shem. It's a totally, total different lineage of people. We don't even look like them. They got different hair textures than we do. Hey, when you see an African, you that's an African. Right. You see that. They skulls are shaped different. Yeah. Yeah. This the book. Uh, this is the the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary on uh, the definition of ham. It said the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races. Not the Negroes. What are we? Not, Not the, the Negroes. Negroes. And what did they call us when we got off the slave ship? What did they call the Africans? Africans. They still call them that to this day. Right. <laughs> We're not called that. They just started calling us in, in, in the past few years African American. No, they and call us minorities. Uh, minorities. <laughs> but but on a, on, when you fill out a job application, say African American. Yeah, it do. But they just started saying that. Yeah. We went from Negro to niggas to colored to, to uh, uh, Afro American. Now we at African American. I mean, it, it's so many different things. This is George M. Fredrickson, the black image in the white mind. The, the, the debate on Afro-American character and destiny written in 1817 through 1914. And this is page, this is page number 75. And it reads, it says, in Crania Egyptiaca, published in 1844, Morton pointed out that both cranial and archeological evidence showed that the Egyptians were not Negroes as abolitionists. The, the Egyptians were what? Were not, not Negroes. Negroes. As abolitionists and colonizationists had maintained, in fact, that. Let's talk to you. In fact, blacks had been regulated to the same servile positions in ancient Egypt as in modern America. I was Ken Folk and Ken Folk. <laughs> it's telling you, we served just like we served in Egypt. At, as you can prove, in a, 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 as we proved in, with Moses, he carried us out of Egypt, away from the Egyptians, the Israelites, the Africans. We're not the same, we've never been the same people. We've always been different. Read that out. It's the book of, it's the book of Exodus chapter 11, verse seven. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. What are the Africans? Shall not a dog move his tongue oh, yeah. against man or beast. Against us or our beast. Man, they can't even lift up a word against a dog of our kind. Bring that up. That ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. And hey, it's plain as day. It's plain as day. We all are not the same. I gotta go though. Go ahead. Hey, you two can't hey, read them things out. We got a YouTube channel. I like Search up everything. Phone, yeah, hey, hey, remember <laughs> That's that. For sure. All right, brother, be safe. Hey, come here, brother. Brother, come here. Come on, brother. We try to catch you. Hey, just wind up and out here, man. So you say your nationality is other, right? So you don't have a nation of people to go to? You, you just here. What, what, what about your father? Your mother? I mean, you, you come from somebody though, that's my point. You come from a lineage of people. Who do they go back to nationality with? Black. black. You brown. Hey, that's a, that's a smart answer, because hey, the, the, the black, uh, it deals with everything bad. You know what I mean? That's what the so-called white man is putting in our mind. And white deals with everything good. That's why they used it like that, it's a psychological thing. Give me a... Uh, yeah. It's the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse number 22. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they what? Are they Israelites? So am I. No, they black. Are they Israelites? So am I. No, they just other. Are they Israelites? So am I. You will be an Israelite. 
Now, we got a few things that we can look at to prove that we are Israelites. Give me the book of Deuteronomy 20 and 8, 28. So we, we're going to go through this book and see if these prophecies fit up. Because this whole book is talking about the Israelites. That's right. So we're going to read a few things and see if they fit the so-called black people in America today. Or they fit the so-called white man with the little stringy curly cues down the side of his face over there in Israel. Uh, give me a 28 and 1. It's the book of Deuteronomy to the 28 and verse number 1. Uh, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Is the so-called black man above high? On high right now? You say it's not? Okay. Uh, so, he would set us on high if we listen to all the commandments of the Most High, right? This is Moses giving us something that is going to happen if we listen to his commandments, you know what I mean? And stuff that's not going to happen if we don't listen to his commandments. Give me a this. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All, all these, these curses, curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. Sin. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Uh -huh. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Who was cursed in the field? Cotton field, the sugar cane field, the tobacco field. Who was in the fields working? Huh? And what were they? So called what? So called blacks. Just lining up with us right so far. Who's cursed in the cities, on the corners, in the, in the hoods? Who's cursed in there? Is it the white man? Is it the Chinese man? Is it the Arab? So who is it? Give me uh, 54. Verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Now when you're walking down the street and you see somebody from across the side of the street, or even walking on the same side of the street as you, what happens? Hey, is it a friendly gesture when you walk on? Or are they mugging you, looking you up and down? Mugging Hey. Got their hand in their pocket, kind of looking at you like, what you gonna do? Hey, that's, hey, the men, and uh, yeah, and the men of old time, hey man, we used to care about our people. Hey, we used to show love towards one another. Hey, you could go out on the block, hey, and it would be people watching over the whole block of kids that's outside. Hey, now, hey, hey, to hell with them. It ain't my kid, ain't got nothing to do with me. Hey, you see him breaking in the grandma house right down the street. We don't. And toward the wife of his bosom, uh -huh. and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. What's the stigma in our community with the uh, so-called black man? With, with him and his kids? But is, is he there? Is he there? Does he stay around? That, that is true. That is true. I think it actually say that in the next one. But uh, what, what's the what's the uh the saying? Hey, you know he, he about to go out and grab milk from the store. I'm about to go get some milk. And he what? He'd never come back. Hey, they say that. Hey, this was prophesied in the Bible way before any of this had even happened. Hey, this is this is talking about who, who does this look like? This is lining up with. Blacks. We gon' we gon' hey, hey this the this the nail in the coffin on this last one. You gotta kind of prepare yourself. I don't, hey, Hold might on. be a little too much. And it, and to talk about the domestic violence, our people love being the, in the trend of uh, toxic relationships. Yeah, yeah, horrible, horrible. He gon' yeah he gon' hey he gon' hate the wife of his bosom. Hey, what you see on social media nowadays is hey, 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 hey if you ain't knocking each other upside the head, they don't really love you. <laughs> That's all. But verse 68, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So you know what we were doing in Egypt the first time, the Israelites, so-called black people, what were they doing in Egypt? So give me Exodus 20 and 2. Exodus 20 and 2. Book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. 
I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. So the house of bondage. So we look at Egypt synonymous with slavery. Hey, because when you thought about Egypt back in the day, what was we doing in there? He was in slavery. Hey, Moses had to free us out of slavery. He went to Pharaoh and told him, hey, let my people go. And he freed us out of slavery, parted the Red Sea, and then we get to the point where we're at now where he's telling us, hey, what's going to befall you if you keep the commandments? And what's going to befall you if you don't keep the commandments? Read on. So, yeah, read from time. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery again. With ships. What? With ships. How do we get over here in America? With ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your homeland no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. What happened when we got from slave ships? And there ye shall be sold unto, unto your, your enemies. enemies. Who were we sold to when we got the slave ship? Huh? So what did the Bible say they are? Read it one more time. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So our enemies, right? Keep reading on. For by men and by women, and no man shall buy you. And we're buying the Hebrew just means to redeem. So nobody is gonna come save us out of this captivity. Malcolm X tried to. Uh, uh, Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey, hey, all of them failed. Hey, because it's Nat Turner. Hey, and that, hey, Nat Turner Turn fight valiantly. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, he took a lot of them down, but hey, they all fell short. Hey, because it's only one that's gonna come save us out of this captivity, and that's a Mashiach Yahweh shot. That's what the Lord ignorantly called Jesus Christ. So, go to 29 and 1. Deuteronomy 29, verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. With the children of who? With, with the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. Nah, other. With, with the, the children, children of Israel. Black. With, with the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. So what would we be, brother? What would our nationality be? If everything that we just read fits up with who we're calling ourselves, the Most High called us what? Israel. So you would be what? All praise to the Most High. Huh? No, nah, cause cause they want to keep us in the lowest state. They want to keep us put down at such a lowest state that we don't know who we are. Cause if we figure out who we are, hey, we'd be the greatest people on the face of the earth. Hey, and, and we're slowly figuring out. You see, we got a group of brothers up here, man. Hey, we trying to teach our people that's what it is. Cause this world I like to say, hey, up is down and left is right. Give me Isaiah five and twenty. Hey, cause this world don't want you to know. They want everything to be wicked and backwards, so we don't assume our rightful authority. Uh, 5 and 20, yeah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good, huh? and good evil. Because that's what they do. They call evil good and good evil. They say you can walk around here as a, as a girl, as a grown man. They say, hey, they about to, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> right now, man, they in the process, it is the, uh, they got an association, the man and man, uh, what was it? The man for uh, boy love association? Yeah. Hey, they're about to legalize pedophilia here in a minute. Yeah, they got they got a whole clan called them the MAPs. Yeah, the MAPs. MAP. The maps. The maps. Hey, it's men loving little boys, man. Hey, this place is sick. Hey, evil is good and good is evil. Hey, it's, it's a bad thing for you not to want to date a tranny. Hey, that's a man at the end of the day. Hey, I don't care what you call yourself. Bring it out. Hey, the Lord made you a man. That's right. And you got to show yourself a man. Come on. Hey, it is, this world is so upside down, man. Keep bringing that up. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Uh -huh. That put darkness for light yep. and light for darkness. Uh -huh. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's what they do. That's what they do. Hey, they, they want to put a veil over your head so you just walking in the dark. They don't want you to see the light. They don't want you to know who you really are. They don't want you to know that you are the, you a king walking on this earth. And they they are supposed to be below you. They 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 want to uh, 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 keep assuming the authority so they make everything twisted and convoluted. It's, it's the book of Acts, chapter seventeen. Excuse me. Acts chapter seventeen. Verse number nine. It's the book of. Acts chapter 17 and verse number 9. It says, And they had taken security of Jason 
Salaki. I think that wasn't it. Salaki. Give me uh. I have a cool two and twelve. Two and, two and two or two? Two and two and twelve. It's the book of Habakkuk two and twelve. Woe to him that builded a town with blood and established a city by iniquity. Oh, wasn't wasn't the city established with iniquity and built with blood? We walking on they they are walking on stolen land. And it killed millions of Native Americans to be over it. So ain't that what they're doing? It says woe to them. Death and destruction to them. Hey, they want us to keep being in the dark state. They want you to keep not knowing who you are. So they can keep walking up and down the streets, looking as nothing is wrong. And then they look at you like you the criminal. They clutch their purse when you walk by. We haven't touched a hair on Sally's head. Hey, what did they do to Emmett Till? Said he whistled at her. Hey man, I wouldn't believe that old cracker as far as I could throw her. Hey. <laughs> hey, straight up and down, man. Hey. Whistled at her, and now y'all y'all beat them, uh, 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 and, and and threw them in the river, and tied bricks to them, and, and let them sink to the bottom of the river. Hey, he was dead before y'all threw him in there, man. Bring it on. Pertaining to what he was saying, how he turned the world upside down. It's the book, Acts chapter seventeen and verse six. And when they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying. These that have turned the world upside down are come hither also. And that's it. Hey, they, they turned the world upside down and now they came over here, they, they defiling everything. Hey, it's, it was pork, uh, they just took it out. It was pork and styrofoam cups that they used at, at, at uh, uh, all the restaurants. Why is there pork and styrofoam cups? What is the need of pork and a styrofoam cup? And toothpaste, body wash. To every, you can't, they put pork in everything to keep us in sin. Because if we sin, we're going to go, we were going to go into slavery, and we were going to stay in a desolate place until we come back and start following the Lord's commandments. Bring us up. It's the book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse number 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in his people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this should be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest the Lord defend them, and their God before them, and we become a reproach before all the world. Hey, so if we keep the laws that you command us of the Most High, he's going to defend us against everybody. Hey, right now, you know, we... We not really being defended against him, but we ain't really got no protection out here. Hey, cause we keep spitting in the most high face. Hey, he tell you to do one thing, and you say you're not gonna do it. Do you eat pork, brother? Shrimp? Any 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 uh, kind of bottom feeders of the water? Shrimp, crab, lobster? You eat a seafood ball from time to time? Um, you you eat pepperoni? Nope. Uh, just, hey, just had to check that. <laughs> hey, some people don't know what <laughs> hey what pork is for them. All right, oh. Uh, Give me numbers 15 and 38. Yeah, we'll bring this up. The book of Proverbs chapter 29, verse two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Who's ruling the earth right now? Huh? It ain't us. Who's on top? Who's, you know who the Rothschilds are? Uh, who owns all the banks? When you gotta go to McDonald's to buy something, who's the owner? It ain't us. Would it be the Europeans? Yeah. It'd be the Europeans. Hey, they say when the wicked rule the earth, hey, the earth is in mourning. Hey, the wicked is a so-called white man. Hey, and the earth is gonna keep mourning until he get out of authority. And the only way for him to get out of authority is for us to come back to the Lord as our servant. It's the book of Job, chapter 9, and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And, and that's what they do. They cover the faces of everything. They, uh, they, they say Christ is a so-called white man with stringy hair and blue eyes. Hey, the Bible don't say that. What do you, what do you think Christ looks like? Huh? What does he look like? That's the nationality. 
You've never seen them? Do you think the Bible says what he looks like? Give me a uh, Revelation 1 and 13. Oh, yeah, there you go right there. <laughs> That's what they say he looks like, right? Do you believe that? You don't believe that? Hey, because if you believe that, hey, you was going back into captivity when that man come back. Hey, trust and believe, that man ain't coming to save you. He coming to put our ass back in slavery on the cotton fields like they want. Bring this up. This is what he looked like. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 13. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Son of Man, that's Christ. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a girdle, with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What, what uh, what texture is wool? Who has woolly hair on the earth? You look right at him. You look right at him. Hey, you gonna keep looking at him through the rest of this breakdown. Bring that out. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. I it just gave the color. He had, he had, you know, you get old, you got the granddad, you got that gray hair. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Hey, this right too. What color eyes did this man have? Look blue. Hey, this say a flame of fire. Hey, that's strike two. <laughs> Bring that out. And his feet like unto fine grass. And his feet like what? Unto fine, fine grass. grass. What color is grass, brother? Brown. Who is that man? Well, who, who is who is he? A European. Why have they put that up in every church? A white man sitting on a cross like this with a crown on his head with thorns on it. Who is that? Hey, that's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Either that or doing the, uh, the little Baphomet symbol. Yeah, I don't even hey, do it. It, it, <laughs> how he sit is creepy. Now you can leave it down, cause that's who he is, the devil. <laughs> we'll keep reading on. So his feet were like brass, which is brown. Now, let's see how dark of a brown he was. As if they burned in a furnace. What happens if you burn anything in a furnace? Turned black. Hey, so he was. Look at him one more time. He looked just like this brother. Hey, just just more aged, man. So, hey, if we know that that's not who that is, he deceived the whole earth. Hey, you would step on that image because that is a man that has deceived our people into loving our so-called enemy. You would step on that man. Ah, oh, brother. Hey, this is a man that has raped, robbed, and murdered our people. Hey, you gotta, you gotta kind of stomp him out like you mean it. Hey, if you see your brother get jumped, what you gonna do? Hey, you gonna go in there flying with both feet. You gonna be off the ground. You gonna come in there like Naruto. Yeah, man. Hey, you'll be running off the wall. Hey, brother, you gotta, hey, you gotta give me a harder stomp than that. Hey, you a man, right? You a man, you don't even walk that soft. Huh? I ain't violent neither. You ain't, hey, we don't gotta be violent. Hey, but you can put your the foot on, on somebody that has deceived our people. Hey, he has there you go. Hey, cause he, he has he has brainwashed our people into to not knowing who we are, to thinking that God loves everybody. Do you believe that God loves everybody? Where where you get that from? Because everybody I know say God loves everybody. So how, how you know God don't love everybody? Where do we find that at? Huh? He's probably a lie too. He's oh, so probably a lie too. But hey, you can attest that. Hey, they say God love everybody. Go ahead and give me the uh, the, the double barrel. <laughs> the book, the second entry, chapter six and verse fifty-four. <laughs> the book of second edger shut the six oh you said you said you need what that oh, frankincense yeah, 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 yeah the book of second edger shut the six in verse 54 uh -huh. and after these adam also whom thou made his lord of all thy creatures uh -huh. of him come we all they say we all come from adam hey god love everybody we was, we all came from adam how could he not love his creative people right bring it up 
and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So he created everybody and the people he chose. So he has a chosen people and then there's everybody else. Now let's see what he thinks about everybody else. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So he made the world for the chosen people's sakes, right? As for the other people, As for the other people. which also come of Adam, uh -huh. thou hast said that they are nothing. They are what? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. But be like unto spittle. You know what spittle is? It's spit. They like to spit. Hey, do you care about the spit when you when you spit it out? Do you care about that? When you, you be like, oh, man, I shouldn't have spit right there, man. You, you think you gotta pick it up and put it in your pocket? No. Hey, you don't care about that spit. Hey, pocket spit. <laughs> As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, right. but be like unto spittle, uh -huh. and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Hey, so when you when you carry in a bucket of water, shake a little bit, you know how water moves, and hey, you spill a little bit. You care about that drop you spilled on the floor? Hey, that's how the Lord likens the other nations. They are, look, you see that water right there? You gonna, you gonna scoop that up and try to put it back into the bottom? And that's what the Lord think about them. He said they ain't gonna go. <laughs> huh? He couldn't have loved everybody. Give me uh, uh, Romans 13 and 9. 9 and 13. 9 and 13 is like, yeah, he, he don't love everybody. He explicitly says that. He, he separated certain things. We do one of these Let me show you what he think about us, and then we're going to show you who he hates in the Bible, because it says he hates. Yeah, but who, who is it pertaining to, though? You're not supposed to hate your brother. And, hey, if he offends me, hey, sometimes you got to turn the other cheek and, hey, not worry about it, because cause then it, it, it does what? Now you start looking at your brother with a side eye. Hey, say you're not supposed to hate your brother in your heart. You know what I mean? It's not talking about other nations. Other, it, how could it be? Hey, if another nation does something to you, hey, that's an act of war. Hey, man, you gotta take that man's head off. Hey, what happened with, uh, uh, you got, you know that kind of lock, when lock got captured? Yeah, pull it out Genesis. Hey, right reading us, we're going to see who God hates. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. And Jacob's name changed to Israel. So he loves you, brother. And let's see who he hates. But Esau have I hated. And he hates Esau. Esau is the so-called white man, as pertains to in Genesis 25 and 25. He hates a certain people, and he loves a certain people. Do you know why he hates him? Hey, because he was set up to be hated. Give me a uh, jump down to, to 9 or 11, 11. For the children being not yet born, neither having done. Listen. Right off the top. It's the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 11. For the children being not yet born. But some say it's because of what he did. Hey, because they weren't born yet. Neither having done any good or evil. So it's not by the worst that they did that the purpose of God according to election might stand not of works but of him that calleth it was said unto her the elder shall serve the younger Esau was the elder and we're the younger Jacob Israel was the younger so that the so called white man is supposed to be servant the so called black man as we see that's not happening as it is written Jacob have I loved but Esau have I hated so in order for us to get back to this point, it all followed back to going back to the law. Right. As you see, the white man is the head and we the tail. Hey, this is what is predestined. But we got to come back to who we are to get that predestiny. That the Jesus. elder is going to serve the younger. Hey, to, to, to have Esau from getting his foot off our neck. Right. Because hey, he from the beginning was set up to be this, to be who he is today. Bring out what you was going to bring out, Bola. Yeah. Bring it out. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 13, and verse number 11. 
and they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all the victuals and went their way. And they took Lot, Abram's brother's son. So they took one of a uh, man's brother, right? Brother's son. Ah, his nephew. Who dwelt in Sodom and his goods and departed. And there came so, so they ran off with him. Hey, you see, you see a nephew getting took and a creepy old man down the street. Hey, you just gonna sit there? Now you gonna run after your nephew, man. Yes, sir. Con. And there came one that had escaped and told Abram the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamre the Amorite, brother of Eshcol, and brother of Enar, and these were confederate with Abraham. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. He did what? And pursued them unto Dan. Oh, but you gotta love your enemy. And pursued them unto Dan. So that's what we do with our enemies. And he divided himself against them, he and his servants by night, and smote them, and pursued them unto Hadar, which is on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot, and his goods, and the women also, and the people. Hey, he took everything. <laughs> that's what we do to our enemies. That's what we do to the people that rise up against us, man. Hey, that's what we did in the ancient days. Hey, but now they can just walk up here holding hand in hand, walking like everything fine and dandy. That's not okay, brother. They walking on stolen land right now. Hey, every time they walk by, they should just get bopped over the head like the cartoons and have a big ass knock come out of their shit. Woo! Hey, <laughs> hey, they shouldn't be able to look you in your eye. They gotta put their head down when they walk next to you, brother. Trying to play whack-a-mole. Yeah, man. Hey, as hard as you can. Hey, they should be bowing down and kissing your feet every time you walk by. Hey, when you walk and step out of bed in the morning, it should be an eat of my neck you just stepping on as you walk into the door, each one. And hey, you're gonna have a line of them just laying on the ground. Hey, because they did it to us, man. They did it to us. It, it's only right. Hey, uh, give me 2 Thessalonians uh, 1 and 6. There's the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1 and verse number 6, and it reads, Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Hey, so it's a righteous thing to the most high. Hey, the people that troubled you, and hey, you gonna trouble them. That's right. Hey, it, it, it's, it's not love your enemy. It's, it's love your neighbor. That's and right. this is my neighbor. This is a brother that, that uh, has went through hell with me. Huh? Hey, they don't know what you go through. They don't know the struggles uh -huh. of the so-called black man. Hey. Half of them doubt that slavery was real. Con. Hey, it was a choice. Deal with it. Get over it. Bring that out. Hey, but then the Twin Towers, they get blown down, and now you got to have a day off and mourn for these people. Hey, man, to hell with them. Man, talk hey, about blow it. blow up huh? another Twin Tower. Talk about hey, it. Hey, run the plane into every tall building around her, and we're going to rejoice, man. Hey, we don't care about this place. This place is soon coming to an end. Hey, they don't care about the things that you go through. Why do we care about them? Why is it love them? They don't love us. They right. haven't loved us for the past 400 years. Right. And they've been rape, robbing, and murdering, kicking in doors, and stealing everything that's ours. Bring and saying it's theirs. Hey, all the inventions, the light bulbs, hey, everything that you can think of, hey, it was made by a so-called black person. Uh. Hey, and what do they do? They put it in their old little creepy pocket. Hey, and you would never know that a black person invented it. Yeah, bring right. that out. Where, where, where is the royalty for that, for that brother's family, for that sister's family? They created that, but they since they want to rape, rob, and steal everything that we have, hey, we don't know who we are anymore. That was even a thing like on TikTok, like they would take like a so-called black kids dance move, and then a white person to do it, then they get the money off of it. Yeah, and they get millions of views off of it. And, and, and it was a, it was a uh, female on TikTok. Uh, she, she made a song, but since she didn't copyright it, they stole her song. And they made all the money off of they, it. They made her TikTok. Yeah. Madness. Bring yeah, it up. I got a preset. This is the book of Revelation chapter 6 and verse number 10. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, doest thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them, 
that they should rest for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren and like that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Hey, so it's gonna come a time that hey, our, our people are gonna be pleading in the heavens. Hey, for us to, to get out of this captivity. And our forefathers and foremothers who, who went through the things, uh, jumping off the ships because they didn't want to go into slavery at the hand of the so-called white man. Our people dying manfully for the Lord because they dare not to forsake the laws. Hey, they pleading up in heaven. Lord, when, when are we going to get our people out of this captivity? That's the thing we're going to Have we went through enough hell yet? Hey, but it, it, the time is soon coming to an end, brother. Hey, all the, the preparations to get us out of this place, it, 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 it's, it's almost here. Hey, stuff is lining up. Hey, you got wars, you got rumors of war happening. Hey, there's so many things going on that America won't talk about. Hey, because they don't want you to know. Hey, there's plenty of wars going on in other countries. Hey, and they're soon coming to America. Hey, uh, 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 Korea just said, or, uh, was it Korea? Yeah, I think it was Korea. They said, uh, North Korea. They said, hey, we're going to start sending uh, more stuff in the air. And it was like, hey, America, like when they shot the balloon out the air, it was like, hey, if you shoot another one of something that we got out the air, hey, it's an act of war. And we coming in your backyard. What you gonna do about it? And we gonna, they gonna keep shooting missiles at our border saying it's test. Hey, until America drop they nuts and do something about it. Hey, and then it, all hell is gonna break loose. Hey, so right now is the time that we gotta get right. We gotta start leaning on the most high and uh, coming back to who we are. Give me do uh Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Right. Fear God uh -huh. and keep his commandments. And do what? And, and keep, keep his, his commandments. commandments. Uh -huh. For this is the whole duty of man. Right. You're a man, right? Hey, this is what the Lord has called you to do. Fear God and keep the commandments. You feel like you're up to that time? Hey, you already don't eat the pork, the shrimp, crab, and lobster. Hey, now you gotta start diving into the other things. You gotta get you gotta get fringes on. See all the brothers up here with the fringes on? Hey, they all different colors, but give me numbers 15 and 38. Hey, let's look at the numbers. Chapter 15 and verse number 38. And it reads, like, speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make their fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. So this is the thing that we have to do forever. Throughout their generations and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So as you notice, brothers got different color fringes on. He got white, he got red, I got uh, gold, he got black. But if you notice, it's something in common with all of them. At the top of the fringe, it's a border, a ribbon, a blue. That's right. Now we have to have that, and why? And it shall be unto you for a fringe, uh -huh. that you may look upon it, right. and remember all the commandments of Yahweh. And to do what? And to do them. We gotta remember all the commandments to do them. So when you wake up in the morning, and you put these over your head, and you, you look at that, you remember, hey, I gotta serve the Lord today. Hey, he has commanded me to do certain things. He commanded me not to work on the Sabbath. Come. He commanded me not to go out there and eat that pork. Uh -huh. He commanded me not to look at that brother's wife. He teach commanded her. me to teach the daughter, I mean, uh, 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 the daughters of Zion, man, he taught me not to prostitute them. Hey, just go and bounce any woman that you see. Hey, he taught me not to be a whoremonger, a whore, a, a homosexual. Hey, the Lord has taught you these things and we have to live by them, right? So, uh, was it more on there? No, that was it on there. No, hey. uh, it was some more on there. Uh -huh. It says, that ye, and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which ye use to go a horn. Hey, because if we follow after our own heart and our own eyes, hey, what we gonna do? We gonna set up that damn golden calf that we set up. Come. Hey, we gonna start following these other idols. We gonna start following other religions as Muslims. Bring it out. Hey, the brother didn't even know about the, uh, the religion, man. That's right. Hey, he don't believe in, in, in that you can, you can beat your wife. See that? Hey, it tells you you can beat your wife in her. It's crazy. Hey, in the Quran. In, in, Quran. in the Quran. Yeah, not in the Bible. Hey, it tells you you can beat your wife in her, man. Hey, he don't, he don't understand what he's even following. Our people are lost out here. Hey, this, man, this is folly. It, yeah. Hey, and it, it's folly and it's falling. Hey, it, it's not going to be no more. That place is, it, it, that religion, it, hey, it's going to cease to exist, man. That's right. 
Hey, it's, it's nothing fruitful that comes from that. Overcame Babylon, we Israel, now we gird it up Ever since we came into the truth, we got our birdies up Eat this Mac, think you funny, watch how it'll burn you up I live three miles down, by the Sabbath journey up Esau see us coming up, just watch how we just turn him up In the kingdom, keep the law, we gon' have him double dutch Occupy till I come, go ahead and eat this honey up Anytime I see a blood moon, it got me jumping up Esau doing coke, yeah, now he fanny up I done got my spirit up, now let's just see what's up